Welcome. Today I'm going to give a lesson on the willow. Uh, the full name is the willow bends in the wind. It is the fundament, fundamental foundational practice for pushing hands. Really the best way to learn the defense, to learn the yielding, uh, learn the softness, and uh, lay the foundation for all the rest of your pushing hand skills. Uh, today I have my assistant Margot Zurian. Um, I'll put a link to her uh, amazing Taiji animal website uh, YouTube page in the in the description. And I'll also put an excerpt from my upcoming book on pushing hands with a little more detail than I'm going to take uh, the time to do here. Today it's mostly going to be about uh, practice and the visuals, but uh, my book deals with lots of theories, ideas, principles, and uh, practice and training. So uh, I'll, I'll give you plenty of notice when my book is uh, finally finished. So this first exercise, willow bends in the wind, we call it the willow. Um, the willow and many of the drills, many of the methods, they have the same uh, measurement or foundation, which is what we call the territory. So we can bow to each other. Our left feet are forward for now. Left feet or front feet are across from each other and then her front foot lines up with my back foot and my front foot lines up with her back foot. That's the basic territory, that's the basic distance. I don't want to be too far back, I don't want to be too far in. This is just kind of the starting area. So in the willow, one of you is going to be pushing or attacking and the other one's going to be neutralizing or defending. Uh, willow one is really about learning the skills for the defender. So. The defender's three rules are really key and really important to develop uh, softness and yielding. Number one is no resisting. And there's many ways to resist, mentally, emotionally, but we're talking about physically. You basically want to let the pushes go by, you want to let the energy go by, and it's actually better to get pushed out than it is to, to resist at this stage. So the number one, the fundamental is no resisting. Number two is no hands. Um, can't use your hands to get my hands off or your elbows or use anything like that as part of your defense. This is really to get you into your waist and legs. Uh, and then number three is no stepping. So at this stage, fixed step, you're going to stay in your stance, try to keep your root, try to stay there. And really what we've done is we've taken away a lot of your uh, basic uh, defensive actions and made you stay in one very vulnerable place and try to explore softness and yielding. So again, the defender is no resisting, no hands, no stepping. Now the pusher, um, my three rules in the beginning are no hit pushes. So what I wanna do is I wanna touch and then I wanna push. I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna hit this person because I'm gonna make them tense. And the whole goal in the beginning is to help them to become relaxed. So if I start slapping and hitting and shoving right away, um, it, it's going to defeat the purpose. Later, when she masters the willow, you can do that all you want. It won't affect them. But in the beginning, touch first and then issue some energy. My second rule is no boring or sleepy pushes. I got to be present. I got to be in the game. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm paying attention, I'm feeling, and I'm working with her. I'm not checking out. I don't want to be um, some other place, not paying attention, and my partner is just really not getting very much. And then the third rule is no scratching. I know that sounds funny, um, but I've seen people come out with claw marks, with their, their clothes torn, and uh, that's, that's farthest away from what we're looking at right now. Um, you'll see in the description uh, some ways to practice. Basically, you can do one or two minutes each leg, each person. We're going to do this a little quicker because I've got a, a time limit with YouTube, but um, later we'll be able to uh, give you even more ideas. So for now, I'm going to be the pusher. Margot is going to be the defender. So I'm going to start by pushing. And if we were doing a timer, I would change feet. And one thing you'll both notice, I'll notice it from the outside, she'll notice it from the inside. 
just by switching feet, your body will have different, uh, different levels of flexibility, relaxation, uh, balance, and rooting. So you might have a really uh, solid root on one side, the other side it might not work, and vice versa. This is a good way to even everything out. And then we would change feet, and then my turn. And we'll just uh, assume the timer went off. So, that'll be enough to get you started. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make another uh, video um, to give you some uh, further training, some further hints. So, uh, expect another two uh, videos for sure on the willow. So, until then, get yourself a partner, watch this, practice hard, and be as soft as you can.